Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another exciting episode of We Have Been Doing Spring Cleaning and Not Just Today. So, I'm uh, going to go to bed pretty soon. But to all you uh, government people out there, this is kept. This is kept always at the ready. We want to barge in here. It would be a real stupid thing to do. Took some of this. You figure out for yourself why I took some of that. You get to wear that. And, uh, we, uh, went through the, um, well, this month we did, was it this month that we did laundry? Or last month? This month. This month we did laundry. What, what, what did we do? Twenty, fifty dollars, twenty dollars? No. I'd say twenty dollars worth of laundry. Twenty dollars worth of laundry. That was, which was pretty much everything. Because we hadn't done laundry in a while, except by hand, and um, that mean that meant a lot of clean clothes, which we folded at the laundromat. And we found another laundromat to, to use. We, we both like it a little better. But um, instead of the one on Route 12, it's this the what? The birdhouse. The birdhouse? Yes, the birdhouse. The birdhouse is the one on Route 12? Yes. Yeah. And what's the one we went to? Sud bucket? Sud bucket, I think. I think Sud bucket over on, oh, it's in Keene. Uh, no, uh, Washington Street. It's on the same street that Walgreens is on. On Washington Street. Uh, we just liked it a little better. Um, got this in the mail today. My wonderful wife got it for me. And I was looking at the article on Pike and this pond, they call it a pond. In Texas they'd call it a huge lake. Um, it's about a mile south of town. Turns out they have Pike in there. And I was reading an article in there about, I mean, I was lucky enough that it had an article about Pike. And I was using these to read. But, um, looks like I need some steel leaders. And I need to get some spoons. Um, I figure red and white spoons. Red spoon with a white stripe down the middle. If I can find that, um, and um, I can just walk down to the to the pond. It's a lake pond. Again, they call it a pond, but I'd call it a lake. And. Um, I know they get bass. They get some good-sized bass out of there because I, was, I walked down. I've only walked that far down, walked that far on the rail trail south one time. And uh, these two people, this girl and this guy, they were fishing. And the girl reeled in this big old bass. I was like, wow. And I asked them what they were using. They were, you were using topwater lures. So... Um, I have some top water lures. I'm not sure where right now. I'm tired. But I don't have any spoons. At least I don't think I do. And I'm going to use those for the pike. Um, I probably need heavier line than what I have in, in the rod and reel up there if I'm going to do pike though. But then I might uh, just uh, be out there looking for some bass and a strike, I mean, a pike might strike, so who knows? But anyway, 
Um, I don't know. I have, I'm tired. And what we were doing was we, we were sorting through the clothes and separating like winter clothes we're going to put away. And we uh, we have two dressers. And both dressers are now full. We don't have like a separate place to put like towels and things, which would be nice if we did. Uh, is that would save some space? But it, I don't know if you notice it's brighter in there now, because we had this small two two drawer dress. Well, not really dressers, but two two door units that we had on top of one of the dressers, and we took everything out of there. Too small. Yeah, they were too small, and um, that was the reason you see the sunlight, but then I'm going to go to bed pretty soon, and um, that sunlight's going to bother me until I get to sleep. But it's also time to start bringing in the Bring in the what now? See how tired I am. Um, bring in the cat. Bring in the cat. <laughs> no, uh, we don't have a cat. <laughs> um, we should put the cat out for the night. <laughs> yeah. They like to be put out for the night. Um, there's a. We saw this thing on the on the TV commercial for I think Lowe's. Um, Home Depot. Home Depot. You take a. Well, we're going to use um, a um, tomato, cage. To tomato cage because we already have a tomato cage. At least one. We may have two. Maybe more than that. I think we only have two though, or one or two. One. Well, and what you do is you get the garden cloth or fiber or whatever. You wrap it around there. You fasten it on with like zip ties. And you stick it in, you, you cut little slits in the, you fill it with soil, cut little slits in it, and you have a tower. They call it like a flower tower or something. Tower of flower or whatever. But we're going to do vegetables. And we got the, this the other day, I've look, been looking through this this morning too. I highly recommend this company. And, um, We need to order seeds like ASAP. A lot of people already have their seeds sprouted, and we're behind everybody. But they have one. They have a tomato variety that can handle shade, which is good because that's what we need. Because we get a lot of shade here. So anyway, uh, y'all have a great day. Bye.